Why did you guys jump? video from yours truly so today as you can see we're doing some festive stuff because today is Halloween or it's the day after Halloween I haven't decided if I'm gonna post Thursday or if I'm gonna post Friday because it depends on if I actually edit it in time so possibly happy Halloween now I'm sure most of you are wondering have I ever carved pumpkin before no no but that's okay because I watched a five minute video and now I'm a certified god at carving pumpkins. So I'm gonna show you how to carve the perfect pumpkin. So get your pumpkins ready and let's get started. So when I like, like I was just like thinking, cause like I've never carved a pumpkin before, but like I just kind of know, you know, like I've seen somewhat of something of how to do it. And I thought you just like carve the top out and then just rip all the guts out and then start carving. But I guess there's an easier way to do it. So I'm gonna try and do it that way. If it doesn't work out, I'm gonna be really depressed and I might cry the rest of my day. So let's hope it works. So it says you're supposed to pre-make a little face here pumpkin and I made this. I totally didn't trace this offline. This is my own work. It's all my own. I thought of it in my own brain and my own very hands drew it, so. So it says you're supposed to like tack it on there. I just don't see how this is gonna like, cause my pumpkin is so uneven. So if you have some tacks, or I guess you could even use like tape. Like honestly, I think the tacks might ruin the pumpkin, maybe. So how? So you just kind of like tack it in places. Oh wow, that went in way too easily. Also, I'm kind of scared to mess with the guts of the pumpkin because I don't like getting messy per se. But honestly, I'm pretty skilled at most things I do in life, so I'm not too worried. I'm sure this is gonna work out great because Jesus loves me. So step one is completed. I've gathered some tools. I bought some tools and then we had some tools. So I went to the store to get like, you know, that pumpkin kit you see everywhere, like the scooper, the little mini saw, these things, they look pretty fun. And then I brought some from home. Nice. But for this next step, you're pretty much gonna like cut out on the pumpkin your drawing. So kind of like, so you're just gonna kind of like and also the goal isn't to like stab all the way through because you haven't really like cut out all the juices and guts and garbage so don't like stab it in there so what are you guys dressing up as for halloween i probably well actually by the time i post this it'll be halloween so i guess it won't be much of a spoiler so in that case ooh, it's all juicy look at it why is it already juicing? That is so gross. I don't like the fact that it's already juicing. Our pumpkin's like wet and juicy. That's not, I don't like that. It's already like moist. This is proving to be a bit harder than I expected, but y'all know me, I never back away from a challenge. Just make sure you don't cut yourself because I almost cut myself like 10 times and it wouldn't be good to cut your finger off for Halloween. I mean, I guess it'd be good to scare kids away, which is always the goal of Halloween. Y'all, this is kind of hard. This is really hard, actually. Like, I'm struggling here, and I don't want my pumpkin to look ugly because then my family's gonna make fun of me. Not that I care, but also I care, so like... Freak! Why aren't you doing what I'm telling you to do? I'm hoping your pumpkins are turning out better than mine, and I'm gonna wipe its tears off its face. Stop crying, you'll... See, I want this to look good because I'm not a perfectionist, but also I'm a perfectionist. So like, it, I just, I get really sad when things don't look good. And see, I don't know why I am a perfectionist because I'm not even like really good. Like when, like when it comes to art, the only thing I can really do is like computer stuff, which is mostly irrelevant. So I just like, I don't know why God made me this way, you know? I just, Next up is the fun part. We get to carve this thing out, the stem. So I've heard you can also do it from the bottom, but I kind of want this to be like a traditional pumpkin. So 
And I'm not sure which knife to use either. I think I'm gonna use this one because it's not really a big pumpkin, really. See, so here's the thing. I don't wanna break the stump, but also like, sis, you gotta come out. Come on, yeah! Oh God, oh no. Oh my God, why am I doing this? I'm immediately regretting everything. So they said you're supposed to like cut all this excess garbage off. Dear God, why is it so thick? Cheap, thick boy. Oh yay, oh my God, look how clean this looks. Frick yes. I'm gonna throw this. Ugh, it feels horrible, it's so slimy. Ugh, 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 ugh. See like, I don't wanna mess with this. It smells like I'm gonna stop you. I'm gonna have my garbage bag ready because now I get to scoop this out. By the way, um, Pumpkin Masters TM, what the hell am I supposed to scoop out of this? It's not scooping. Guys, I think I'm gonna have to touch this with my bare hands. I've never seen this like in my kitchen my whole life. It's perfect, it's like the perfect length and like it's so big. Look at that, it's scooping it up like it's nothing. Oh, hell yes. Oh my God, it's dripping, it's dripping, it's dripping. Can you believe I almost touched this? Like I almost just like barehandedly, like savagely ripped this out. Cute. 
these last four days before it's the ultimate Halloween spooky day. If you're bored and you want to get in the season, you know, you're feeling a little bleh, you don't feel the Halloween spirit, carve a pumpkin. Follow my steps. It really worked really well. Like, I am not artsy, really. Like, I'm, I'm kind, I'm like, I'm more of a design person. I'm not like a drawing, like that kind of art. So if I can freaking do this, you can make godlike art. But that is all I have for you guys today this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and share with everybody you know because hey, I'm sure a lot of you are kind of like, mm, I'm not really feeling the holiday season. This helped me. I'm ready to get spooky. Like, it's spooky time. And if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I do post every single Friday. Have a safe and fun Halloween and I will see you next Friday with another funky fresh video from yours truly. Wait. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm so quirky.